Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Bring It Dawn. Let's enter Tangaloa's Maw. The fetid vegetal smell of decay alerts you to the swamp before you stumble upon it. It extends far into the distance, overgrown with ancient trees and vines. Solid patches of ground are few and far between. Crossing the morass will likely demand many miles of arduous travel. Forge ahead into the swamp. With patience and some careful maneuvering, you manage to keep yourself and the others out of the stinking morass and on dry ground. You come upon a particularly boggy stretch, surrounded by dense trees with not a single patch of dry ground in sight. With no way forward but through, you forge ahead into the bog. You're startled by a chorus of moaning voices. You spin around, searching for the source, but the moans seem to come from every direction at once. Through the trees you spot a narrow deer trail. You may be able to get free of the bog that way, there's no telling where it leads. On top of that, we don't have a very good survival skill, so stand your ground. You'd rather make your stand here and deal with whatever lurks in the bog beyond than risk a path that leads you know not where. Oh, it's just some undead. Great. Ah, Might as well be hitting the water. They do have reinforcements incoming. I wonder if that's it. more than I was expecting. How may I? Got some tentacles over there. Man, they do just keep coming. I bring your end. Captain, just say the word. Oh, misclicked. I don't know how long Ashiza is going to hold the front line there. Let me take out this rock guest. 
sooner rather than later. Yeah. Let's have a main character over here. Got it. That's it. Hey. It's really convenient timing from Adair. Right, she's just gonna go down here, it looks like. So I probably pull them back earlier. Get up! We're not done yet. Right, I think Palagina's got that fight by herself. At least I hope she yeah. does. What happened to your old pets, Watcher? <laughs> That's not a good time, Console Hot. Yes? Oh. There's at least one crit for Maya. Let's wrap this up. We've gotten 15. Well, that's fantastic. How may I help? What's her accuracy? 94. A little head and shoulders above everybody else. How may I help? I'm not just saying that because she's an Amoa. Indeed. I. On it. I guess if you go for the deer trail, you just miss out on all that combat. The experience and the loot. Alright, we have another generic ruin tower to explore. Alright, Scrimoire. A three Valoon. 25 golden uh, Swola. You pronounce the E if it's not part of Swollen It. A three Ink Harp. Four potions of Spirit Shield. And that's it. Grab the food and then go to the Forgotten Catacomb. A lush narrow valley lies below you. Spot an overgrown stone structure built into the valley side in the distance. 
before the stone structure spreads a broad field peppered with ancient plinths and mounds of cracked stonework. As you move closer, you discover that the stone structure is actually the entrance to a crypt. Though the doorway is thick with mud and is damp as sweat slick skin, continue down into the dark. Oh? Of course. Oh, indeed. Enemies ahead. Great. Sure. Me. Okay. <laughs> A few more here than I expected. I, mean, I saw the other enemies in here. I didn't think they were all going to march out here into the corridor. I think it works in our favor. Just <coughs> pull a dare back to try and defend our back line. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> I'd like to get Ashiza out of there. Flames there, big guy. I do think wyverns are better than a drake in this situation, since the drake takes up so much space. And doesn't have a ranged attack. I said wyverns, I meant worms. Great, there's a shade now. There's a weapon. And as the main character is putting in some very good work. Death Guard Fanatic. Great. Yes? Huh. I hope nobody saw. Not much longer. We're just barely keeping her in the fight. I don't think that Maya has an escape option, unfortunately, and Palagina's down, so we lose our summons. Good news is I don't think my main character is gonna get taken out by these guys. Palagina. He's weak to fire. Maybe I should go ahead and throw out one of those back there. I need something stronger. If he casts that for free, then he can still act afterwards. Uh, without some tentacles as well to help fight these guys. There's a vampire here. Is she's Louise? Okay.
Try and get Aloth somewhere safe. Or not. So Maya might survive here, which is great. Let's do devastating blow and finish this guy off. Get okay, console hot out real quick as well. Yeah, I should have kept Adair on the front line. I think the regeneration would have helped Palagina stay in the fight. We still have access to some of our summons. <laughs> Alright, so what does he have? Curse of Siphon, Draining Touch, Draining Missiles, Parasitic Staff, and Crushing Doom. I'm gonna put Crushing Doom on the Vampire. Actually, the Death Guard Fanatic. He's a higher level. I just ran past me. What a jerk. So is he affected? Yeah, he's already got Gouging Strike on him. Uh, let's get the Vampire instead. Alright, I do not want to hit myself with this spell. Be immobilized. Got to dodge once again. Not in a great position. I don't know. They're going to keep chasing her. I don't have enough of a front line to keep her intact. Uh, maybe if I could get her to... Uh, it's not far enough. Yeah, she may just have to go down here, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Down goes Maya. That must have uh, let's get these two close together so they share regeneration. Take them down. Is our summon. I do have that. I don't know if I want to activate that right now or not. Probably not. So the Death Guard Fanatic is going to go down to Brand Enemy regardless. I don't need to focus on him anymore. Let's take out this Dargul and this Vampire. And it's just two Dargouls and a Vampire left. If we can land our hits, of course. Hey. Hey. That wasn't half bad. <laughs> awesome, another vampire down. Uh, we can charge over here. Hopefully stunning these enemies along the way. They may be a little out of his path. That's worth a shot. At the very least, I'll stun the Dargul at the far end. Alright, so the Death Guard fanatic is gone. This is one of the situations where Brand Enemy is really powerful. I bring your end. Because it's only my main character really doing anything here. Mayadera is contributing. And the rest of the party did stuff before they went down. When it comes to these battles of attrition, that's where you want brand enemy. And there is a lot of battles of attrition. Take that. Take him down. <laughs> What do you need? <laughs> yeah? Here Let's we go! go. <laughs> what do you need? Tale for the Ages. Two bros fighting off hordes of the undead. The Blighted Shot grants Blighted Shot. The Putrid Heart infuses a shot with debilitating toxins, affecting the target with the hobbled and weakened afflictions. Once per encounter, too. That's really good. That's enough. Kill 10 enemies with empowered attacks. So I've never actually used an empowered attack. But I guess it's time to start trying. Here we go. Uh, the writing that follows begins to sprawl like gnarled roots. You'd be surprised how long a body can ignore real sickness. I told myself it would pass, even as my teeth fell out of my head and my hair, by then green as moss withered. Was it me? The Mampuger was eating, one piece of my soul at a time. Couldn't be, I told myself. Stronger than ever I was, still a crack shot, still able to do my duty. I was just getting up there in years, I said. 
If I kept the wood safe using the matriarch spoiled magic, then the joke was on her, can it? It be when the village crops started dying off I took notice, when the cattle thinned with blight, when the sickness started and mothers wept. By the gods, what a fool I'd been, and still, the heart was hungry. Yeah? Hey. Hey, some unique heavy armor. Finally. Reckless Brigandine. Exceptional. Go not quietly. Plus 5% action speed in melee. Increases per engaged target. And plus 1 to enemies engaged. That's fantastic for a tank. The name of the warrior who wore this ancient armor has long been lost to history. The tales of their many battles serve both as an ideal to strive for and a cautionary tale. The Reckless One, as they're known, was unequaled in courage and left a trail of defeated enemies in their wake during their time in the Deadfire. That is one explanation among several. Popular theory holds that the Reckless One is a title passed down to anyone who dons this armor, that those with a claim to it are as numerous as grains of sand on a beach. Into the Breach Melee weapon damage increases as wearer loses health, max 20% damage, and armor rating increases as the wearer loses health, max plus 2. And seeing red, plus 1 health per 3 seconds for 9 seconds when critically hit, healing increases as wearer loses health. I think I like this one more. The healing is okay, but if you're not getting hit, or only getting grazed, that's better. Plus you do more damage. But I think the armor rating is the more viable stat when it comes to losing health. Unless of course it's an enemy that's going to hit you regardless, and that's why you're in that situation to begin with. But this little bit of regeneration is not going to fix that. What do you need? Oh cool, it has the same armor rating as the exceptional plate armor. I assume the Brigandine would have less. And it looks terrible. I think it looks terrible in general. But it does not look good on my character. I guess it's not a way to... Yeah, well, shoot. <laughs> That's... Some... Yeah? Good thinking. Well, I did finally get what I was asking for. It's not all it was cracked up to be. There is something over there. The soil here has been disturbed recently. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Can't get a clean head. I bring your end. Uh. Death to those who oppose the Republic. That's not very helpful. So they all got gaping wounds. I wonder what determines what injury you get. I assume it's the enemy that you're facing, or the damage type that uh, takes Why you down. Are we here?
my goaded enmity is active, it doesn't look as bad. We definitely had an armor that I'm super excited for to have my main character. Where? Reckless One's Rest. Let's rest up first. Since three out of five members of our party received injuries. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next time we will sail east and clear out this fog of war. If there's nothing there, we'll continue even further east and isolate this block here. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.